What you drinking, Finn? <laughs> Out of your beer mug? Perfect, right? I like that. Yeah. I don't care. It's just important to me that the potting bench match this bench. That's the potting bench? You're building the sink base right now and it needs to match the potting bench that we're going to build. Oh, we're building a potting bench? Yeah, that's got to match this. Where Which have you been? Point? How are you so confident that the nail is not going to go through the wood all the way and poke your hand? Because it's four inches of wood and only a three and a half inch. Yeah. Boy, this camera makes it look really light out here. <laughs> it is not light out here, folks. That is the moon over the top of the barn. That looks perfect. What are they doing? In there? I think Good? they're trying to get somewhere. Hang on. No, I want the nail. Good. Just put it and then I'll hold it. Good? Yep. Okay, then now. Good. I guess you can start You told me this thing wouldn't be heavy. This is heavy. Is oh, heavy. you know what, though? Now my rock's going to be in the way. That's all right. Let's put it in place for now. Oh, you went right next to the door. No, Gavin is incredibly soft. By the way, I'm walking backwards, so it's kind of... Let's sit up here, set in the sink room. Oh my goodness, Scott. Wow. It is so beautiful. Sure. Oh, it's leaning against there. Oh. One more. Okay. Let's lift that your end out a little. But now you can see why I need a matching potting bench, can you not? Yeah, but I just, I, I say we build a potting bench and see if we need this shelf. Okay, I'm fine with that. Can I look in both of them? All right, can everybody just look at this beautiful garden sink? I'm gonna clean it up today, and then Dad's gonna put a drain in for me and build me a pretty looking faucet. You need to build like a boot. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold out here. All right, let me get our plants. All right, and we are live and recording. Welcome. Today, we are opening some trees that we got in the mail that I don't even remember ordering. Let's see what they are. This must have been back when I was rich that I placed this order. Sometimes it works that way with trees that you order because they don't always ship them until it's the right season to plant them, even if you pay for them in February. It's very exciting to get mail these days. I've got my planting crew ready to go to work. Huck and Gavin are going to help me get these in the ground. All right, folks. <clears throat> Bare root. Always less expensive to... Order your plants this way, your trees this way, or your shrubs this way, instead of in a one gallon or two gallon or three gallon pot. All right. Oh my goodness. They have a lot of twist ties going on here. So these are our bush cherries. Got two of those. And then our red mulberries, we've got one, two, three, four of those. Ah. I've got enough mulberry trees now. I really didn't need these ones, but that is okay. We're gonna find homes for everybody. We can all live happily in my permaculture orchard. Okay, Huckleberry, you are going to 
run over to the pile of poles. You know where I keep my fiberglass fence posts? I need six of them. Can you get me six fence posts? Gavin, you're gonna grab your shovel. The metal ones? Or nope, the plastic? the plastic ones. Meet me in the orchard. Gavin, grab your shovel and let's go. Oh, so nice in here. I know, it's so nice in here. We are loving the greenhouse, mainly because it's a huge escape from the wind. Ooh. All right, here we go. We can do this, Gavin. Come on now. Your shovel's outside already. So we are coming out to the permaculture orchard to find places for these trees to go in and bushes to go in. Look at this beautiful manure that my grandpa has dumped for me. Very, very excited about this. I had to beg and plead to get some of this instead of letting it go to the row crop fields. I'm supposed to be finding a spot to plant my bushes, but look at this. These are those beautiful, free, yellow raspberries that I planted a couple of weeks ago, thriving. Look at that. Beautiful leaves coming off of that guy. Let me check his neighbor. Ha! Huh, beautiful little dandelions. My bees should be very happy. The dandelions are really starting to come out. All right, so what we've got here is a honey locust. That's our nitrogen fixing tree. Make sure he looks okay. Yes, he does. All right, how many do I need? Six. Six. So you can bring a couple at a time. Lay it right here. A little public service announcement if you are a suddenly frugal farmer like I am. We are raising 100 meat chicks right now and they are in our brooder box. Meat chicks are dirty. All they do is eat and poop. You don't want to go in there, you're going to get all itchy. No. And so that means you go through a lot of shavings because you want to keep them on deep bedding and you want to keep top dressing that bedding. Hang on, if you're patient. You want to keep top dressing that bedding so that they're not wet, so that they're not standing around in their own poop, um, so that it smells pleasant when you have to go in there. We had deep bedding in there already, but we quickly had to top dress. So we went to our local feed mill and we got this. Usable volume, 5.5 cubic feet. So this was $6.99 at our local feed store. When we ran out of this, about three days later, we had to go to the hardware store and we got this. Which, let me tell you how big that is. Oh, this is only four cubic feet. And my dear husband, who loves his meat chickens, paid $15.99 for this bag. Behind me sits a pickup truck full of sawdust. Similar product as what was in these, maybe a little bit different. Hang on, Wilder. This entire pickup truck full was $6, folks. $6. So if you can be creative and call some of your local companies, like whether it's a hardwood flooring factory or any place milling lumber, you can ask them about their sawdust, which is a byproduct of what they're doing. If they are a very resourceful, smart, frugal company, they're already selling it. But you can find somebody who will sell you a pickup truck full for fairly cheap, like we did. Now what we need to do is take oh, that, that cool sawdust and find a good place to yeah, store it. We want to keep it dry. I want it accessible and easy to get to. So we are going to be building a bin for all of my sawdust. And we are building that bin out of the very scrap that I got from another factory. No idea what these are or what they were, but we picked up a whole entire trailer full of them. So we are gonna to have to find some way to cover this hole. But essentially, Scott's going to build me my bin using this wood that we got for free. So, your choice. $16.99 a bag or a pickup truck full. I think the answer's clear, folks. We rode the entire way home getting sawdust all over the cab of the truck because our back windows don't seal. So pro tip number one, have a back window that seals. Pro tip number two, bring along a second tarp. We have one tarp underneath, but bring along a second tarp to go across the top and then weight it down so you don't lose any of your $6. I'm pretty sure I lost about 27 cents worth on the way home. And I don't want to do that. Miss Reagan. Okay. Bye, bye. Okay. One, two. Three.
Little update on the Chickasha and the Saramas. They are doing just great. Strangely, one of their favorite places to hang out is right there on the ramp. Not sure why, but they're getting brave. They've been outside in and out all day. We moved them to a new patch of grass, but they're doing great. First backwards. And I think you can lift it from those two holes if you want at the bottom. I don't know yet. Just remember, Gavin, pain is weakness leaving the body. Okay, I, I can do it like that. Okay. We're moving it. Let's go. Where are we moving it? In the open. You're going to walk into the open backwards first. Oh, I might have to. Ah! Hang on. I just ran into okay? like 40 things. I hope we can fit. Oh boy, that looks looking tight. Yeah, because you got to turn a little bit too. Yeah. Got a little something in your you. eye. It's filming. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today we're on the McWilliams farm. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. That's good. Well, Regan, <laughs> good job. A straight, all the way straight up. Oh shoot! Well, this is, this you're is gonna break your effort. neck. You're that gonna probably do about 300, so we'll be here too long. You're gonna break your neck though. Wait, like doing what? No, I can't sit here. For I'm gonna go. See ya. Go and play. No, 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 Tommy. Oh. Oh, this is I took a minute today and scrubbed up the sink. I got most of the blue paint off, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Tulula seems to like it too. So Scott will I add me. So. You like it too? Scott will add me a faucet here and we'll have to run a water line to it and figure out piping a drain out to the orchard area. But I'm very pleased so far. Sure. Turn it on. How does it turn on? It doesn't turn on yet. Soon. It's big. Look how tall I am. You are so tall and you are so dirty. You need to get I'm in the tub tonight. On it. No. Your legs are just that long. The bedding box is complete. It's in place. So now my meat chickens can have as much fresh bedding as they want without me feeling like I need to go pick up a second job just to afford bedding for my chickens who are supposed to be saving me money. So almost a free project here and my $6 pickup truck load full of bedding. Not yet. Um, we have a little bit left in the pickup truck and a little bit left here, but I can probably use almost a five gallon bucket daily at this point to top dress their brooder. And as soon as they move out to pasture, then I will be cleaning out the entire brooder and starting over. So this is really gonna come in handy and save us a lot of money. Hi. It is going to freeze tonight. Yes, we are into May and yes, it is still freezing at night occasionally. All the tomatoes and sensitive baby plants were brought in, but I'm gonna try to leave my cuttings out there. I'm really hoping I'm not gonna regret that. Mm, on second thought, maybe I'll bring some of them in. I've invested too much. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring some in. <laughs> 